going to be fine, eh? Hey, is the pain still much? No. I'm not crying because of the pains I feel in my legs. I will cry because of the pains I feel in my legs. My boyfriend says he doesn't want to. You mean the same guy that was here yesterday? Yes. He called me this morning that he wants to quit. Why? What happened? Did you guys have a fight or something? No. Ever since he learned I've been working on clutches, he said he cannot date anyone that works on clutches. But I thought you said you guys were in love. I thought so too. I have done a lot for this guy. My parents hated me because of him. <laughs> I even stole their money for him. You mean you did all that for him? Why are some people more wicked than the devil himself like this? Why? I suspected that guy when I saw him yesterday. I suspected he would be a crook and a heartbreaker. You see, that's why I'm always scared of all these gentle looking guys. They are the pretenders and when they are doing their own, eh, to be the worst. Worst. Ah. Sorry, man. Yeah. I need the money urgently. If you can't help me raise a lot, I appreciate whatever amount you can help me with, please. What could be so urgent? And why can't you ask your parents for it? I collected some money from them recently and they might start wondering what I need such amount of money for again. Just as I'm wondering what you need 50,000 naira for. Mr. Me, please. I'll refund the money. I promise I'll refund it. It's not a question of if you will return the money. What you're here to tell me is what you need 50,000 naira for. I, I want to give the money to my boyfriend. He needs it to get some things done. I gave him 30,000 naira last week, but he needs more money. What did he do with the 30,000 naira? And why does he need 50,000 naira this time? He didn't say. He only told me he needs the money to get some things done. Your boyfriend, what does he do for a living? Mm, sister, I mean, he's planning to travel out of the country. Is that a profession? I mean, planning to travel out of the country? Oh, God. Where is he planning to travel to? And what is he going there to do? He wants to travel out to go and also. He said when he gets there, he'll find something to do. Jane! Sister, I mean. Hey, God. Jane! What are you doing with such an aimless guy? Aimless? Huh? Yes, aimless! So after all your financial and emotional commitment, you decided to call this quiz because you've been working on crutches for a little while. Even for an accident, it's not even cause. Hey? I have sacrificed a lot for this guy. All my life depends on him. No, all your life does not depend on him. You have to forget about him. And you have to be happy so you could get well soon. My dear, crying or thinking about this would only worsen your situation. I cannot be happy. How? When everything that makes me happy is gone? I feel like dying. Oh, no, it's not that bad. How can you die because of someone that cares less about what you think or what you feel? Hmm? See, my advice. Get well soon. Bounce back on your feet so that when next he sees you, you will wish you never called his kids. Yes! Yeah. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, don't die. Clinic matters. Yeah. Keep watching. Please, sister me. I'm his only hope. He needs the money today. Please. I don't have a dime to throw into the gutter. That guy is just milking you. But why have you been giving him so much money? He promised to marry me. You are a fool. Uh-uh. That was too harsh. What could Jane have done to have deserved such a great remark? She's been giving money to one gold digger she calls her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. The guy does not have any future ambition. And is planning to travel out of the country aimlessly. Uh -uh. Jane, you are a big fool. I thought you were more intelligent than all this. I love you. Shut I up! You shouldn't turn yourself into an ATM because some guy is dangling the carrots of marriage before your face. Mm -hmm. 
If I can't render my assistance to him when he needs it, what's the true meaning of love? It must be balanced. I may be right or wrong, but I think that guy is a gold digger. And he's taking the advantage of the fact that you're blindly in love with him. Is it wrong to be blindly in love? Oh yes it is. Because you don't see anything wrong in a relationship. For as long as you know that guy may not even like you, let alone love you. He loves me! How do you know? He said so. Uh, because he said so. It's easier said, my dear. Hmm. Look, do you mind if I put his love to test for you? Test? Yes. If she believes she loves him, and as well as he does, then I think I have a plan to prove his test for her. What's the plan? Clinic matters. Keep watching. Thank you very much, Liz. At least I know better now. I'm standing in love and never fall in love again. I'll just concentrate on my hands and be the best I can. It's good to hear you talk like that. Trust me, you'll be doing yourself a lot of good if you can move on and forget about that guy. And we'll do our best to make sure you get back to your feet very soon, okay? After you're still looking very beautiful and your smile is still charming. <laughs> now I'm flat. <laughs> Thank you. God forbid, I can't do that. Uh, that is because you think he will fail the test. That's not the reason. I just think it's crazy. You letting him turn into an ATM machine is crazier. And you believing all he said without confirming is craziest. See, this is the only opportunity you have to confirm all what he has been telling you all these years. I also think it's okay if we put his love to test. But I'm not sure if your suggestion is good enough. Right. What if the doctor suddenly enters while we're at it? The doctor is not coming to much later in the evening. The only obstacle we have now is Jane herself. And once she consents to the idea, we'll swing into action. And less than an hour, we're done. And if he passes the test, I will voluntarily give you half of the money he needs. So. What are you saying? Okay then, let's do it. that she was involved in a motor accident and not a plane crash. Oh yes. She was involved in a ghastly motor accident. I'm only trying to make it look real. Don't just stand there, come and help me bandage her legs. Okay. There's no need for that. The bandage on my hand and head is enough for this. Keep day. quiet and let me play my role. You play your role as the accident victim and keep quiet! I really don't know why you got yourself involved in this initially. Now look at what she has done to you. A fine girl like you. Eh? And Mr. Bigger, what if your doctor comes in earlier than we expected? The doctor is not coming in till later in the evening. So, Come and do this in fact because Jane's boyfriend is going to be here any minute. Jane! Jane! Hey! Now look at this! Now what's your apple? Hey! Tell her damn it! God forbid! There is nothing wrong with me being the king. Shut up! She was involved in a gas motor accident, so everything is wrong with you. Yes! Hey! Who must say? Hey! Sorry, yo! Say you not touch your brain! Everywhere. Ah! Hey! No, sir! Come! Why not, sir? Good morning, nurse. I'm nurse. I got a call from this hospital that my girlfriend Jenny was involved in a motor accident and she's on admission here. Yeah, that's true. She's lying in a critical condition in one of our wards. The accident was so fatal that she almost lost her life. My God! Can I see her immediately? Sure you can, but I must warn you, she's in a very bad state. The accident affected her beauty. I still want to see her nurse, please. <laughs> nurse, hey, I see you hey, inside now. Where they wrap her with a bandage for her head? I come as I say, now what did happen? She said, Billy, you know, eh? Jane was involved in a serious motor accident. Hey, hey. Hey, but she said, you know, Billy, this man here is Jane's boyfriend. Go show him Jane's word before you continue to clean him. Oda, but follow me. Okay. Right. So as it is now, she might not be able to work again for a very long time. 
Hmm? And during the course of the accident, she hit her head on the floor and it has really affected her brain. Badly. Oh, hi! Take it easy now. You know you can't talk. Just take it easy. Next. Hmm? Did you say her brain was affected? Ah, terribly. And it also has some, you know, complications to it. Like loss of memory, temporal madness. Oh, oh hey! You can't talk. It's okay. You should save your energy. Please, you can't talk. Well, no, is there anything I can do to help? Yes, plenty of stuff. First, you have to bring a 150,000 naira hospital bill. Hmm? After that, you'll bring someone that will stay with her permanently, in case she needs anything. Well, I don't have money, but I can volunteer to stay with her for as long as it's necessary. Yeah. Um, you, there are also some other complications though. During the course of some tests we ran on her, we found that she's suffering from trachinosiasis. What's that, nurse? It's a terrible disease. Spread by sesame flies, cows, pigs, you know, some other animals. Um, let's have a go. Mm -hmm. Please. Can I see you outside for a minute? Yeah, excuse me. Okay. Be fine, yeah? I'll be back here. Eh? I'll be back to tell you more complications about her. That's terrible, right? Eh? Clinic matters. Keep watching. Ah, that was too much. Even if the guy truly loves the girl, you might scare the love out of him. Then that's no love, because true love stands the test of time. Please, I think you've said enough about your fake diagnosis and complications. I'm even beginning to believe you. <laughs> I'm not done yet, because I still have a few more complications to add. After that, I'm done. Ah, oh, please, Abigail, you're taking this thing too far. I'm just started. is really bad. Oh yes it is. And as it is, she will need a donor. And as it is now, eh, you are her only option. Nurse. Hmm? She's my life and I love her. Mm. I'll do it, nurse. What? I'll donate the kidney. I think the guy truly loves his sister. But the way Nurse Abigail is going about this fake accident, she might just scare the love out of the guy. That was why I told you to stay with her. To put her in check. She overdoes everything. She even said Jane is suffering from a temporal madness as a result of the accident. What? God forbid. That was not part of the plan. That's what she said. Mm. Let's just stop this game at once, please. Let's stop this game at once. Ah. Nurse, how soon will the kidney transplant be carried out? As soon as you are ready to donate one for her. We are just waiting for the doctor to come and announce the kidney thing. That's all. How is she? She's fine, no, we're still waiting for the doctor. And Lawrence, we carried out a blood test on her. And we suspect she may be HIV positive. What? God forbid! I'm tired of this game! Haven't you had enough proof that he loves me? What's the? The doctor is here. Take to your wallet. Mm -hmm. So after your 
financial and emotional involvement. He's still calling me Chris because of you're going to be working in crushes for a little while. Speed. Action! Eh? My parents hated me because of him. I even stole money. I even stole Action! Action! I take it from my thoughts to you. I don't put myself in my thoughts to you. I thought so too. Action! I thought so too. Feel alright? Because you've been working on crushes for a little while. Why are you laughing? <laughs> 